matters who is in our leadership. It matters who is guiding our state and never for a second believe it doesn't. Because here's what happened in this, in a law, in a policy now, the Affordable Care Act, that has changed healthcare to be a right and not a privilege. My boss, Senator Stabenow at the time, was fighting for maternity care. Maternity care wasn't actually part of any basic, most basic plans. It was actually left out. My boss, woman senator from Michigan, was fighting for maternity care. And across the aisle, a gentleman said, hold on, hold on, with all due respect, Senator, I don't need maternity care. And her response was, but I bet your mom did. And I think about that moment for two reasons. One, it mattered that she was at the table. It mattered that there were two Republican women that we knew we had the votes for the amendment. But the second thing is what he didn't get. She didn't need maternity care anymore. But her chief of staff, me, who was eight months pregnant, did. And that's what public service is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about doing that work that makes it better for the next generation. And that's why I'm here with you, because I'm doing it a little different to bring a different voice to make sure that as this state takes on homelessness and housing and education and really thinking about making sure that we're actually no matter what zip code you live in, you have a place to live, you have a good school for your kids. You need new voices that have different life experiences at the table and that can bring in folks who might not have been engaged, but we need it now. And so that's why I'm here before you because the only way we change, not just what happens in California, but to lead and role model what we need for our country, starts now in places like this. So thank you so much for being here, for taking the time to be here. And I'm happy to answer any questions, even from the little ones. I know my son's been really upset that we don't talk about climate change enough. So um, I'm happy to open it up.